Octanidin is a modern antimicrobial active agent. But how exactly does it work? Come with us and take a look at the mode of action of octanidin directly inside the wound. We have arrived at the base of the wound. Apart from blood and inflammatory cells, colonies of bacteria populate the wound's surface. Seen here are gram-positive cocci, Staphylococcus aureus. Its cell envelope consists of a plasma membrane, which is coated by a thick murine layer, permeated by negatively charged macromolecules, the tachoic and lipotechoic acids. The active ingredient, octanidin dihydrochloride, or octanidin for short, consists of two positively charged active centers. Therefore, it is able to dissolve in water. It's hydrophilic. However, due to its long hydrocarbon chains, octanidin is also lipophilic, in other words, having water repellent characteristics. So what exactly happens when this molecule comes into contact with the wall of the bacterium? On the one hand, octanidin binds to the pathogen. The positively charged active ingredient attaches directly to the negatively charged bacterial tachoic and lipotechoic acids and to other negatively charged molecules. On the other hand, the octanidin molecules pass through the murin layer and penetrate deep into the bacterial membrane. The combination of lipophilic and hydrophilic properties enables the molecule visible here to embed itself in the double lipid coating, puncturing holes into the membrane. Under the influence of octanidin, the whole bacterial coating becomes porous and unstable and the germ is killed off. Octanidin provides several simultaneous advantages. It has broad-spectrum antimicrobial activity, effective against gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, fungi and viruses. Octanidin is also suitable for sensitive patient groups, such as expectant mothers, newborn and premature infants, due to its excellent skin and tissue compatibility. It is not locally resorbed, thereby reducing the risk of systemic side effects. Octanidin has a remnants period of 24 hours, providing long-lasting protection against invading microorganisms and presenting no danger for the development of resistant germs.